Okay, so I've made the chickpea salad with mint from the Overcoming MS cookbook and this recipe is by Ingrid Adelsberger from Los Angeles in the US. So yeah, it is looking very delicious, full of fresh herbs and cucumber, tomato, cherry tomatoes. Um, so yeah, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, fresh mint, fresh parsley, chickpeas and red onion and I've just Put some olive oil extra virgin olive oil on that salt and pepper and I didn't have any red wine vinegar so I'm going to taste it with white wine vinegar might be a slightly different flavor but we'll give that a go and I'll let you know how I how it all comes up at the end after I've had my lunch be back soon hey so my verdict on the chickpea salad with mint that um, I made today out of the Overcoming MS cookbook um, is pretty good. Um, I, I used white wine vinegar because I didn't have the red wine vinegar available. So I think it would have tasted better with red wine vinegar. And other things about it was it's quite simple to make, although if you're not into chopping so much, um, it can be challenging chopping the mint leaves and the parsley, but it's doable with the right equipment, the right kind of chef's knife and chopping board um, and it makes it feeds two so it's two serves and you can make it um, and store it for up to two days in the fridge so the, um, I used olive, extra virgin olive oil in my recipe today but I also have uh, flaxseed oil which is also a good one to try as well which you keep in the fridge so it doesn't go rancid um, but yeah today I used olive oil extra virgin olive oil and uh, and I didn't have the red wine vinegar. So it was quite flavoursome. If you wanted to pump it up a bit more, because it is a, a fairly small serve and some of us like to have a hearty lunch, um, I'd add maybe some tinned fish. So maybe some salmon or tuna could work. Or if you had some fish on hand, you could add that to the dish as well. I think it would be quite nice. So yeah, that's it. Um, flavour wise, it's pretty good. If you're not into the red onion flavour, then maybe it's not for you, but um, certainly I enjoyed it. It was quite easy to put together. And yeah, like I said, you can store it in the fridge. You can take it to, for lunch at work as well. So yeah, if it's just you and you're cooking for yourself, then you get two serves out of it. Anyway, I'll leave it there and stay tuned for more.